Okay, guys, so we're going to do number four. And the way we're going to start is we're going to go new, standard IPT, create, and wait for inventor. And then we always go home, so roll your mouse over the home button and click it. And then click on the plus sign next to origin. And for this one, I'm going to draw on the XY plane. And click on XY plane and click start 2D sketch. I did if somebody asked me, what happens if I draw it on the wrong plane? Doesn't really matter because we can reset the front, but it's, um, it's easier to start where you want to wind up, if that makes any sense. So for this one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw like a big rectangle. So I'm going to click rectangle. I'm going to drag it out. I'm going to dimension this to two and a quarter, which is the biggest width. And I'm going to dimension the height to one and a half. And OK, so now I have a rectangle that's one and a half tall by two and a quarter long. And I'm gonna hit finish sketch. And I'm gonna extrude this, the depth of the entire drawing, which is 1.75. I'm gonna tell it okay. Use zoom all to get it back on my screen. And now I'm gonna draw the cutout on the front view, that piece that kind of goes back. So I'm gonna click start 2D sketch and click the front plane. And now I'm going to go up to project geometry and remember to always project cut edges. I'm going to use another rectangle here. Click on the top line, click on the bottom line. And then I'm going to click on this line and then click on the green line of the rectangle. And that's going to be 0.5. And this is going to be 0.75 and as long as your lines are on top of each other you're good if your lines are not on top of each other at the top and the bottom let me know and I can help you fix that but usually it's not a problem hit finish sketch click on extrude click on the rectangle we just drew and we're going to use the cut command so remember to click cut next to boolean and you're going to go back 0.75. Tell it okay. Okay, and now we're going to put a sketch on the side view. Sorry guys, I'm having to get up and answer the door so you get a lot of pauses in this video. So now I'm going to click on project cut edges and I'm going to draw another rectangle from this corner down and I'm going to dimension from this line to this line and that measurement is 0.75. Look at your drawings guys when you're not sure how big something is be sure to look at your drawing. And then I'm going to dimension from this line to this line 0.5. Finish the sketch I'm going to click extrude. I'm going to click that little rectangle that I just drew. I'm going to use cut next to boolean and that measurement is 0.5. Tell it OK. And there is number four. Now please go up to default and put a color on it so I'm not looking at a ton of gray drawings. Go file, save as. You're going to go to your desktop and you're going to save it in your practice folder. And be sure to name it number four. Don't save it as part one or part two because that's the default and you'll just keep overwriting your drawings. Now I'm gonna click on File, New, PLTWA, Create. The project name is Practice. You type in your name, you put in the date, and the file name can be number four. Tell it OK. If this pops up, tell it OK. And then you're going to click Base, click above it, click to the right, click to the caddy corner, and tell it OK. 
bring your mouse to the front view, get the da dotted line, spread out your views a little bit, make sure they're not touching the border or the title block. Click on the isometric view and like mine's on that title block, that would make me crazy. Double click on that isometric view, click on the blue ball so it has color and there's your drawing. Click on file, save as, let it save right where you save the other one. And then you can print it by going file, print, make sure it says e E115, General E115, hit OK and leave it in the tray for me. Thanks guys.